Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today we're just doing a general reading for the last week of July. So we're going to take a look at the overall energies in your life and any obstacles or advice spirit may have for you. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. We're going to take a look first at the past energies. What do you have? Milk and honey. Nice. You know, this is like you've got everything you want. Um, abundance in finances and joy and love. Um, just a really nice energy of, you know, life is good. <laughs> life is sweet and you're enjoying every minute of it. So in the present, you have chaos and conflict. Okay. Now, you have to keep in mind, right, that, you know, life is the ups and the downs. And, you know, you had a period of where you felt like everything was going your way. And now all of a sudden you may feel like, oops, what's happening here? What is going on? So we'll take a look at that. And we're going to clarify all of this with the tarot. So we'll get some more um, details. So your obstacle is that you're not recognizing that this chaos and conflict is coming in because, you know, there's some building blocks, some something that you need to work on for the foundation of whatever situation this is. Um, and I, I really don't have anything to say, whether it's a romance or a career or anything yet. Uh, we'll definitely get some more information about that. But this conflict is coming in to force you to make some changes that will help you to have more stability, either in your finances, your career, or a relationship. Now, let's take a look at your future by the book. I love this. This is the law of attraction. Like you are manifesting whatever it is that you want. You know, part of it could be is sometimes when we get something that we think we've really wanted for a very long time, we finally get it. And then we're like, well, wait a minute. I'm not sure that's really what I wanted, right? And that could be part of your conflict is like you've manifested something into your life Aquarius and now you're kind of like, well, I'm not really sure that's exactly what I wanted. Now, let me try it again, right? And on the bottom is the fates. So there is something destined here. And, you know, you are trying to bring this in with this law of attraction. Really nice energy. Okay, so we're going to clarify these with the mystical moments. And then we'll clarify those with the dreaming way. Tarot. So let's see. With the milk and honey, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so it could be somebody came in and offered the love. You could have started a new romance here. And you thought, oh my goodness, they're everything I ever wanted. <laughs> you know, oh, they're attractive. They have a nice job. You know, maybe they own their own house. They come from a nice family. You're, you know, like, you're truly smitten. You think that this possibly could be long term, maybe. Um, and we are going to clarify that. But you were totally smitten. Like you thought, oh, you know, I've hit the jackpot. <laughs> this one was worth waiting for. All right. So now we have chaos and conflict. Ah, and we have a hermit energy. So this is like solitude. Um, it, you know, it could be, there's a couple of different ways I'm reading this now that we have those cards is that you could feel in the past, like you had everything but romance, or you could feel like somebody came in and they were your 10 of cups, like, you know, uh, everything that you wanted, but something has happened here. You have this chaos and conflict, um, whether it, it's, it feels to me like perhaps this, um, relationship has ended and, you know, with the Knight of Cups, it, 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 it was not, it's not a page. So it is a little bit more, um, a solid of a, of a person that you were dating, but I don't think with the Knight of Cups that it was, it wasn't like um, a King of Cups. It wasn't somebody that was around long term. I think you had hopes for this person to become a long term. But now, you know, you saw something. There was something in, in that connection that, you know, um, 
brought in some conflict, whether just internal conflict for you or in or conflict between the two of you. And you have this, you know, uh, hermit energy right now. You're you're sitting there, you know, thinking, oh, I think I'll be by myself again for a while. Or you, the two of you may have gone your separate ways. Yeah. So what you don't realize, your obstacle is that the divine is working. They, um, you know, there's a veil over something. There's something that you needed to work on. Uh, some building block, a strong foundation. This didn't have a strong foundation. And so what you didn't realize was that the divine kind of knew that. It's once again, like you manifested this person in and I think you may be disappointed that something isn't taking off between the two of you or you've ended this, you know, connection in some way. But it's because there is a reason for you to continue on um, and to start manifesting what it is that you really want. You know, it, it's not the, the Knight of Wands. So I think that there was, you know, a, a true like heart connection here, but there was possibly something missing. Like they may have been um, emotionally able to connect, but then there was something else missing um, in that connection. And, you know, the divine just kind of knew that that was not going to work. You, I think, possibly intuitively knew that it wasn't going to work. Not that that's not disappointing, but what you're realizing is that there's something that you want to manifest that has more to it than what you had in the past. Yeah, five of pentacles, seven of pentacles. It's about wanting to put your time and energy into something that is going to manifest the way that you want to and what they're 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 letting me know the message is is that out of this five of pentacles and remember fives are all about change right the five of pentacles is the sense of kind of being left out in the cold or abandoned um and I think that this situation has kind of left you out in the cold. But what you need to understand is that out of this energy, you are going to manifest something so much better than what this past situation was. Um, you're going to look back when this is all over. You're going to look back and say, wow, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> you really are. Now, like right now, I don't think you're in that energy yet, but that's where you're going. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Yeah, Four of Pentacles on the bottom. So, okay, here you thought all of your blessings were coming in, that it was going to last the test of time. Possible long-term commitment, right? That is what you either had with that person or thought that you were going to have with that person. But then on the bottom, it was the Four of Pentacles. It's... Uh, you know, it's, I think you possibly, let's see what's, you strength, three of pentacles, they may have had, a, a, you may have been part of a third party. You may have been a part of the third party. Um, you found out something and all of a sudden I feel like this energy from the past, this person from the past. So you found out you were part of a third party connection or you, um, you know, you you uh, found out something because we have the page of swords. You found out something about this person that you were like, yeah, no, like I, I don't think that's really what I want. You know, that doesn't align with my core values, something in that line. Oh, nice. OK, so, yes, we have with the hermit, we have they may have even offered um, marriage. They may have offered um, some type of long-term commitment, but with the Ten of Swords, something changed. It came to an ending, and it was, you know, the Ten of Swords is um, a rather, you know, brutal type of ending, very um, painful type of ending. King of Swords, you found out the truth about something, and the Hermit's on the bottom again. So, Aquarius, I do feel like at this time, you are probably, you know, single, um, 
and happy to be maybe I'm not that you don't want to manifest love in your life again but you're like ooh, I need a time out from all of that even if you're thinking there may be a reconciliation with this person I really feel like you are taking time to gain your own wisdom to learn the lesson about why this person what came into your life and what you are gaining the wisdom you're gaining from dealing with this situation yeah you you know this king of swords i think is your energy your air sign it's your energy you found out something you know they they may have come in and offered you but you could have also found out a piece of knowledge uh from somebody else you found out something and it you just ended it and it, it was not an easy ending like, um, you know, it was like you were stabbed in the back. You know, I'm getting, you know, the, the, the scenario of, and this isn't going to resonate for everybody, but, you know, you may have even been married to this person and then found out, you know, that they were seeing somebody else. Um, I don't know. Some of you, it could have been like a friend of yours, you know, that type of situation. Like you found something out and it was like, okay, it's just against everything I believe in. And I, I cannot, you know, I, I just cannot be in a, a relationship like that. So Aquarius, yeah, that's a, a difficult energy. So with the moon, hmm. Six of Wands on the bottom. You won victory in this situation. I think for some of you, you may want to re reconcile. We have the Lover's card here. So this is true soulmate. This is twin flame type of energy. Um, and you're surrendering to this journey. What Or this is your obstacle. So you're having difficulty surrendering to this journey, I should say. And possibly waiting for an apology from this person. You want this person to come back around. You're trying to figure out why it all happened. With the moon card, you're trying to figure out why. And trying to figure out, can we fix this? Can we fix the building blocks? Can we fix the foundation of this relationship? Um, and this is, you know, the, the lover's card too is about choosing and one of the things is about the lover's card is, is also choosing to love yourself. And because it is in your obstacle position, part of your advice would be to step into power of loving yourself, Aquarius, and knowing your worth. Um, and, and having, taking the time to find the insight about this situation and about how you want to proceed. So in the future, we have by the book, Five of Pentacles. You're trying to manifest something out of this situation, this sad situation. So let's see what you're trying to. Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands. What's behind that? Two of Cups. Yeah, and the, the Ace of Wands in a Twin Flame uh reading kind of like this especially when it comes with the two of cups to me is somebody's wanting um forgiveness in this situation and i feel like they're going to get clarity and come back around but you know this energy this knight of swords is about you know charging in and um you know perhaps speaking their truth but it's also you know you wanting your nine of cups look at this you want your own nine of cups like you know to have the happy family you have to have the ten of cups right which is like the milk and honey um you want the ten of cups perhaps but you're almost willing to walk away from whatever you know you think your nine of cups is to really go for the ten of cups like this person now that you found out this truth and even if they come back and they apologize and you have the lover's card here right it's kind of like you know what i all, i don't want just nine cups i want all ten <laughs> and i'm willing to go out there and get it and charge forward in into the future to go ahead and get it this whole situation has kind of like put you a little bit in self-doubt 
Um, yeah, and you're just trying to manifest out of the, this is the same thing. Look at these two cards. You know, the, the Eight of Swords is feeling not confident um, about whether or not you can manifest what it is that you really want in your life. But what my guides are telling me is that out of this sadness, you are going to manifest something really well. And we do have the Three of Pentacles here. I do think for a lot of you, this is a third party situation. But look at this on the, oh my goodness, look at this on the bottom. Um, you have the Temperance card and the Star card. You know, once again, you may be reconciling. You may want to reconcile with this person. You may be able to work it out. The Three of Pentacles can also be about working it out, but it's about healing. It's not about just working it out to work it out. It's about, you know, evolving your souls so that you can work it out, understanding why um, you're on each other's path. Somebody coming in with that 10th cup that you want, right? It may take some time to have the king of cups come back in, right? Because here, you know, at the very beginning, you know, you have the knight of cups, like this person is just the knight. There's still some immaturity there, something that needs to, um, to grow, to mature, to ascend, for their soul to evolve, to come into this king of cups energy, somebody that can really share their feelings. Really um, a lovely reading, Aquarius. And I do feel like it's all about you getting into your intuition um, and understanding. I think that's why, you know, the hermit card, the hermit card is on the bottom again. So we have the hermit card quite a bit. It's about you um, getting into a place of, okay, um, yeah, they flashed this to me. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the bottom just gets better and better. So out of this solitude um, time that you're in, you are building your own life. This is like the single lady card and gender doesn't matter, but it's about becoming more independent financially and, you know, just working on you, working on building the life that brings you lots of joy because we have the joy and abundance. And out of that, because you are working on your independence, when you reconcile or you go into your next relationship, whatever it is that you choose, you will have this 10 of cups because it'll be more balanced. Oh, really nice energy. Okay, let's get some advice from Spirit. Let's see what we have here. Empress, Seven of Earth, Ace of Earth. Really nice. And Three of Fire on the bottom. This is more waiting energy. This situation is going to take time. But here, you know, Spirit is saying it's time for you to put time and energy into yourself, into your Empress being. You know, um, uh, just... Being willing to work on yourself and then wait for this person to come back. It's not about you taking any action, okay? The empress sits back and waits. Now, it doesn't mean that you just sit on the couch, but it is about going back to that nine of pentacles type of energy. You working on yourself. You know, you're looking good. You've got your finances in shape, your house in shape. And allowing the time that it takes for this to come in for this ace of earth, this solid offer from this person, really lovely. And, you know, that is such great advice about, you know, just um, working on you, putting your time and effort into you, um, not worrying about this relationship for right now, even though I know that's hard, but trying to put it on the back burner and just like focusing on you. What is it I want to do today for myself? What do I have to do? Do I have to eat healthy? Do I have to exercise more? Do I have to, you know, um, put a little bit more positive attitude into my work? Um, you know, are there things around the house? Do I want to declutter the house? Do I want to repaint a room? Whatever it is, it's about you just building the life that you really want. And by doing that, um, this person needs that time to evolve from that knight to the king. 
and just allowing them that time and then hoping that they come back if that's what you want. Now, the other thing is Aquarius, I never recommend that you sit around and wait for somebody. If there's somebody else that comes on your path and you're interested in, then you can go in that direction too, right? Okay, insight, see beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insight. This is just about keeping your, your perspective open about this situation, but about romance in general. Yeah, because there could be somebody else coming onto your path, and if they do, right, um, it's about, you know, um, not thinking, oh, do they really fit the mold for me? You know, that type of thing. Okay, we're going to pull a Lover's Oracle card. And Aquarius, once again, if you have enjoyed this reading, I really would appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. So let's see what we have here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And that is so perfect with, you know, look at how beautiful these colors go together, the artwork in both of those, um, about manifesting, right? Um, just really like changing your perspective about, okay, this person may not be in my life anymore, but what is it that I want for me? Now that I'm here and I'm single, what is it I really want from me? And I'm not saying that you don't maybe want still love in your life, but what else is there that you'd like to have as far as a career, as far as your home, as far as friends, interests, hobbies? Um, you know, perhaps you want to start your own business, whatever it is. It's like, think about those possibilities and spending some time nurturing that side of you. And that will help you to come into this Empress energy. Well, Aquarius, quite the reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.